Hi there guys, this is a quick video to show you how to um, wind back the head cleaning set on the Epson F2000 or F2001 or no, 2100, 2100. Uh, they cost, here's the unit over here, here's, here's the one we're going to wind back. There's still one in the machine at the minute, what you can see down there, which has got to the end of the tape. Um, they cost, in the UK, I think they cost around £65. So you're gonna save yourself 65 quid each time you do it. I mean, I would say this is more recommended for, um, for you know, when you're like, the suppliers run out of stock or maybe it was a weekend and you got yourself out of a hole. But I've got to be honest with you, I picked, I picked my machine up quite cheap, second hand, it's out of warranty. And yeah, this is gonna be probably about the third time I think I've wound this one back. And I've got no problems with, um, with keeping the uh, print head clean either. It's absolutely fine. Right, so we'll say it's do it. It's really simple. It probably takes about two or three minutes. I'm going to get the camera popped up and then we'll, uh, we'll get it apart. Oh, and tools as well. Uh, a sort of a nice small little flathead screwdriver and a Stanley blade, I think, is all you need. So uh, let's go. Right, this is the best I could do. Um, not a pro cameraman. So here's the unit and I'll show it to the camera. So you've got little pins here. And little pins at this end, you can see where it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit scratched up. Where I've done this before, so you've got your unit there. I'm going to go this end first. And let me just go. Prize that open. It's quite tricky to do this. Just look at the camera as well. My wife is actually the one that normally does most of the printing here. So we have two and we kind of rotate them. I did pay the 65 pounds the first few times um, that they went, but I thought I'd give this a go. Sorry, I just, I'm, I'm, wa I'm waffling on. So you unpop that end and then there's, there's these little bits here, which you can literally just use your finger and they pop off really easily. And then you've got a bit at the back there and that comes straight off. And when it comes off, there's a little spring there. And that is actually, yeah, that's actually attached to the metal bit of that. So you just set that to one side. You don't need that for a minute. Then there's a little plastic piece here. You need to put, pop that back in at the end, the same way that it came out. Okay, so this is the tape. And as you can see, like, it's, it's such like absorbent. It is a really good system, this, at keeping your print head clean. Um, but it's so like absorbent, like you can see there's like little bits of ink on it. This has been wound back like a good few times, like three, maybe even four times. I've, I've lost count, but it's been wound back a few times. And it's absolutely sweet to keep your print head clean. Fair enough, if you're in like the, is it a year warranty or two year warranty, I, I wouldn't recommend it. But after that, save yourself from some money. The ink's uh, expensive enough as it is. So you can see this bit here. It won't wind back. If you try and wind it back, don't don't try and force it. But if you just kind of go, it basically has a little bit of a clutch system. So what we need to do is um is like release the clutch. So if you see this little white bit here, this is the only bit you need to muck around with. You need to take this apart, then wind it back, and you're good to go. So there's a little metal kind of like ringlet type thing. I'm not quite sure what you call it. Probably not the technical term. And you need to pop that off. And we'll try. This is tricky because I'm trying to get it on camera as well. But right, I'll get that off. Now you do need to keep that. Do not lose that. Ah, uh, it's pinged off. That's fine. So we've got that. And you can just set that to like one side. There you go. You can see it. It's absolutely tidy. Oh, coming down the cold. Right, so we've set that to one side. And this bit here pops off. And the whole thing just popped off. But basically, you've got like a little bit like this. And then there's three of these little plastic uh, cogs and it's like a cog wheel inside there so apologies again for the the janky feel bits up so you have three of it's never going to go and focus is it, on this camera we'll just go back like that so you have three of these tiny little bits here they fit back in the wheel in the kind of little spaces I don't really know what you, like, you want to call it they go back there so you need to keep those as well I'm gonna pop this little bit over to the side. And that is essentially it. Now it's free. 
do it like that. And probably speed this bit up <laughs> in post. But that is essentially it. You can see it winding back now. Okay, I'm either going to uh, skip this bit, or just go to the side there, so you can see which bit. Let me wind it back. I guess you could kind of go from there. Now you do, you do want to go from there to keep the tension in it. Wind it back, wind it back. Right, I'm going to either speed this bit up now or cut it to once it's all been wound back. Right, sweet. We're nearly at the end now. It does actually take a couple of minutes, to be honest, because you do want to just be nice and careful that you don't break anything. Right, that's far enough. So we've got to that point there, and then you, you can just kind of like just wind it back like that a little bit just to get the tension back on it. And that is essentially it. Your tape's now been wound back. There's no like sensors in it or anything, so Epson can't. Uh, I'm surprised, yeah, they probably will put a sensor in it, won't they, soon? On the next model, but on this one, there's no sensor in it. So you get that back there, and then you are going to... Right, let's get all of this properly, because I don't want to drop any of these cogs. Set this back, that bit like that, with the cogs in there. And I pop that on, and there's two... There's two holes that you see, like, there's one there and one there, and they need to line up with the holes. On there. Pop that like so and then this obviously will only go back in one certain way as well because it has a has a bit of shape to it this is shocking film i should have got my uh i have got like a bit of a better digital camera but that one right so then you pop that bit back then probably the trickiest bit of the whole thing is getting this but will that actually focus no it won't will it is getting this little metal piece back over there to lock it in place. I'm not sure what happens if you don't put this back in place. If it didn't have this, if it didn't have this, this job would be well easy. This is when the Stanley blade comes in, and I, I'm not actually going to be able to show you. I'm going to have to put this up right because it's so tricky. But essentially, you kind of get the Stanley blade on one side, and then your little flathead screw screwdriver on the other side, and then just kind of like prise it like down, like back to where it belongs. It's, it's not like that secure to be honest, but. Oh, there you go, it popped off. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this is by far the trickiest part of the job. Ah, oh, it's got to get. We'll edit this bit. We'll edit this bit to make it look like it was really easy. I think I'm going to sit down as well because I'm kind of crouched a little bit. Yeah, let's get it in there. So yeah, how do you guys find the uh, the, uh, the F2000 or the F2100 printer? I think it's decent. Really nice prints. It's, it's quite quick as well compared to our old one. But it is very expensive. The ink costs a fortune. There you go. Let's see how I'm sort of popping that odd there. The once you get it all like that, then it goes back on. Speeds it up. Okay, right now you need to you get that bit there. This it can only go back together one way. It was obviously that is this plastic piece. Where does the plastic piece go? I forgot. It plastic piece goes on the big roll there I think, yeah, because it lines up lines up with the spring so you've got that piece there, the spring then goes on back in it, when you put it back together you obviously you've got to line that spring up perfectly for that hole there so you kind of start start with the spring so, so, sorry, so first of all, so you put that plastic bit back and start by lining up the spring, get that in the hole then you can start closing the ah! I'm having a mare, <laughs> I am having a mare. I have done this before. Right, and then that piece, so so start with your spring, 
and then and then pop that end on first keep your pressure down because that spring not that it's like crazy tension I've got to check this out good it's all good yeah it does look a little bit janky right so you, so the springs in there then them little end bits are in and then you can start with these little side clips here and start like getting your screwdriver and just sort of pushing them back that's popped out a little bit of the side oh mate I don't like the look of this spring hang on There we go. Is that good? No, that's not good. Okay, so here's an issue that I've never had before doing it. And I've done quite a few of them. The spring appears to have come loose. It's quite a simple little mechanism. So when I was popping the spring down, it was kind of coming out, coming out to the side. See, that looks okay, but I do think it needs winding. Yeah, okay, so there's another tip there, so the spring can come, so you do need to keep an eye on that. When it closes, you want to make sure that the spring is not twisting and bending around. I think it's here. It's always the hard bit to put things back together, isn't it? You can take them apart easy. No, see so the spring, we don't have, we have an unhappy spring. Bear with me. There we go, so I solved the problem. That is what it should look like. The spring should be coming up from that little hole and it has these two little clips. It just popped out to the side. So now, when we push that down, yeah, the spring is all sweet as an art. Okay, so, I'm gonna pop that case back and then you can see it's fairly simple. You just need to kind of like, keep, keep some pressure on that there. And then you kind of like, jammy these little bits to the side. There's one clip there. Which will pop in, this one's not going to pop in until that one pops in, is it? Yep, so we'll get that good. And the trickiest bit is this little bit at the end. You need to reverse. You need to kind of get your, get your screwdriver back underneath there. And get it popped in. Which I think it's just about, so it's tricky to film this. is all now back together and what we'll do is I guess we'll just we'll go kind of selfie cam because I don't want to cut to the camera again and then we'll go so we'll press OK to move the platen back as you can see we've got the old um, we've got the bit there to change the head cleaning set I'm going to have to wait for a minute so yeah, decent printers, they are decent printers, but um, just very expensive, like, our, our ink bill, it's 100, I think we're getting them for £137 now, we're getting an 80% discount off, but um, yeah, they are, they are expensive, and we do get through a lot of ink. Okay, so, this is tricky, right, so yeah, we'll just whip the old one out, and that one now you can put aside, and uh, you know, wind that back one, and this is the one that we've just... <coughs> Just wound back, as you can see, it's all dirty still, but not too dirty, still works fine. And yeah, we've just slid that in there. The little, um, the other bits that come in the clit is what, uh, kit, sorry, this little rubber, this little rubber section, that does need, um, that does need like replacing. I've got a clean one somewhere, but I don't know where it is now. So what you can do is like, obviously like when you rotate, uh, when you rotate like the, um, your sets you should have like a clean fresh one of them to go in there but we won't worry about that right in a second right so then we'll we'll tell it that we've we're telling it that we've reset it and then we'll close close the cover So 
sweet. Now, now we need to change the other bit. Again, like that drip tray bit down there. It's getting quite full, but like it's never, never in the middle. It's okay. Um, yeah, it's never got to the stage where it's like overflowing. If it does, you can just take it out and put it in the sink. There's absolutely no reason to, to want to do that. Okay, so we're good to go. Good to print. Um, I am actually on my six hour, I'm on like my six hour timer at the minute, which is why it's not doing it. So we might as well just go head cleaning. Obviously, if you know this printer, it won't let you do, it won't let you do the, um, it won't let you do the head clean when you've got the set in there. We'll do the medium one to reset the six hour timer. Boom. Happy days. So that's how you do it. That's how you want it back. Do it and save it. Like if you get through ten of them a year, that's six hundred quid. So it's a decent, it's a decent saving, isn't it? So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Sweet peace.